So just before the video does start, just a quick little ad on a uh, trading service I offer over on Twitch. I do daily trading guides including loads of price sheets for special card trading, silver trading and so on and so on. And you get them daily over there for £5 a month or free with Amazon Prime. So guys and welcome to episode 5 of 0 to a million in 7 days sniping edition. So we're on a bit of catch up right now because of course... We are definitely behind the curve of coins we need to make, so we need to absolutely spam the living daylights out of the market today and hopefully make some good coins. But here's the current position of the accounts looking like we sold a Malin yesterday, we got for 13 for 15. Some Ben Yedders we got for 4. The Mayos we got for like 900. These guys we got for under 3k. I accidentally listen, I listen on an open bid. <laughs> no. uh, and then we're sitting on, a, oh, well, how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 special cards. Uh, we've got a few Ben Yedders left and then a few Silvers still left to sell on. So. Yeah, without further ado, what we'll do is we will crack underway with, um, let's, we'll try, we'll try and go for methods where we get loads of players today. So, I think what we'll do is we'll go for the ye old classy, classic, uh, Barashka one, where it goes silver, Serie A, bang out a bit of Barashka, i say. This team is predominantly silver, so it makes it nice to, uh, snipe. They're going for at least 3.2, at least 3.3, we could get at least 3.4 for all of them, I think. Yeah, we could very comfortably get 3.4 for all of them. So we'll try and go like 3.1k and below. I quite like going like 100 coins above 3k because I feel like a lot of people try and snipe at like base prices of 3k. So yeah, we'll spam this filter out and show you guys any nice deals we managed to get. Because we have had two banging deals on this filter. So hopefully, uh, you know, three's a charm. So we're kind of done with this filter. Uh, it's been okay. It's not been amazing. Obviously, I think with the lack of players popping up, that combined with people in the stream out sniping it's you know it does make it for a bit of a mare but there you go there's uh three cards obviously nothing of interest uh what i will do next is i'll go and ask my twitch chat if they have any recommended uh sniping filters uh and then we'll go and crack underway with that but uh yeah we also sold on a few of the special cards you can see the hallet sold on there and the mckinney's i think another ben yedda has gone and sold on as well which is nice but uh yeah so without further ado we'll uh, crack underway with a different sniping filter so, with uh, the current SBCs that should be running up, uh, a lot of the Italian Gold Rare right mids are doing quite well, and I'll be able to show you them right here. So, as a result, it leaves a nice little filter. So, the plan of action right here is to basically go and buy any right mid rare that pops up for 800 coins or below. The filter right now is what I have, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit on this for the ninth minute and keep pressing compare price back out until we get ourselves one of the rares. The rares being the Silvesti, Candreva, uh, Chasir, but that's only if he's um, position changed down from a right wing to a right mid. And uh, Politanos. So yeah, we're just going to sit here, keep pressing compare price back out until a uh, hopefully a silver rare, sorry, a gold rare right mid pops up. And then we'll uh, go and snipe him and again, we're going for a minimum of 1.5, 1.6 right now, which is quite nice. Taking the best part of about, what, five minutes maybe get our first one. We did miss another Sylvester, so this guy should sell for at least uh, 1.6k. So we're going for 700 coins. Well, let's have a little look what he's looking like. The Sylvester. Sylvester. Sylvestri. Alright, so you should go for at least 1.6. Ooh, he's down a little bit, I think. One point, I mean, uh, we should be able to sell on... We could probably sell on Lazy Buys at 1.6. There's no mad hurry, so there you go. Going for what, 700, going to sell for 1.6. Yeah, filters are not too bad. Players do pop up relatively commonly. I'll be honest with you, he's the only player I've seen pop up so far. But, uh, so you've had probably about two cars pop up in about, what, five, seven minutes, so... It's not been too bad as uh, filters go, but yeah, just continuing on with the uh, filter. We'll show you when we get one or two more snipes. So we managed to get another two cards in like an hour. Uh, not an hour, sorry, in five minutes of this method. Uh, but we'll tr probably try another method. It's not been bad, but uh, you know, it's, it's a bit meh in the end of the day. So next one we got, we got one Candreva. Yeah, probably get an easy one six on that. And we got a Pol Politano, which is quite nice. And we're going to get another, uh, we'll get an easy 1.6. That's it. We can sell on Lazy Buys because it's still a little bit hype around these SPCs tonight. So... I think what we'll do is uh, we'll also go and try the ye old uh, shadow trading right now because it's always nice to try and get some of them big deals. So, yeah, without further ado, we will crack underway with some of the shadow trading. So, I've been doing a bit of special card trading for about half an hour. Generally, had like a Dabur pop up, a Hernandez pop up, and one of the cards for about in about half an hour. So, we'll give that one a miss right now. And I think we'll go back to the Ben Yedder midfielders filter, which was uh, really good, which is where you just go gold. Uh, at least you just type Ben Yedder in. You don't even need to go gold. Midfielder, and if I'm not wrong, you should be going for about 5.5k for a cam and a set of mid. Yep, there you go. Easy 5k. Probably a lazy buyer run at 5.5k. Yeah. Which means if you can go and snipe anything, uh, give or take 5k or below, uh, you shouldn't be too bad. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll attempt to try and get... The idea is to get like 4.8k 4, and below, unless they've got a set of mid, because then you can normally sell them for 
probably about 6k and then if they've got a hunter you're also going to buy them with um you're also going to buy them for 5k but there we go if we can buy that no yeah completely pay that one but yeah we'll show you guys when we get some deals so we managed to get our first deal and that is a ben yedda for i don't know if he's going to pop up here there you go that is a ben yedda for 5k in center mid we could be a very very easily sell this for 6k uh which means we're gonna make a nice little 800 coin profit so nothing too amazing but uh yeah feel to have popping up trumps and you know give it or take like two minutes so not too bad i uh, say so just keep on banging this out. Any set of mids that pop up for five, you buy. Anything with a hunter that pops up for five, you buy. Anything with a cam uh, for under 4.8k, you go and buy. So, yeah, very easy, very nice. Uh, we'll show you guys when we manage to get ourselves another deal. So, you got to sell off a few cards. You've got this CDM one here. It sounds weird, but it does sell on for five. Going to sell that for six. Uh, and then got both these. This one for four nine. Kind of missed ball this one, but it's okay. We sell that for five five. And this one for four five. We're going to sell for five five. So looking pretty, pretty good. But yeah, this filter is absolutely amazing. And we're getting loads and loads of deals popping up. So on our next filter, and that's going to be Sheffield United, uh, Republic of Ireland, obviously Premier League, anyone. Uh, because if we get one of the silvers under this, we can go and sell them for the best part about 4.5k. Uh, if we get some of the golds, I believe the centre back Egan right now is, what, one point. Oh, he's actually quite nice. He's uh, 2.5k, and if we go look at the uh, left wing back, uh, I believe he's, what, 1.7? So if we can go and get ourselves anyone 1.5 and under, obviously we're ideally not getting the left wing back, so the left wing back's break even. Uh, we shouldn't be doing too bad. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll bang this method out for about, I don't know, half an hour or whatever, and we'll show you guys how well it does. So we're on to the first authenticator of the day. The uh, Sheffield United method is actually absolutely popping off right now. I'll show you, uh, show you two of the deals we've managed to get already. So, first authenticate, we're of the day. It's pretty early on the day as well, 3 p.m. Uh, probably been trading for about best part of three hours on here, so, or even maybe two and a half hours, so. Just make sure it's right. I don't wanna, <laughs> really want to have to do excess, but yeah, we can get on right now. We'll be able to show you what deals we managed to get. So, there we go. I think the Egan, we, so we managed to get ourselves an Egan. Uh, an Egan for 1.6. Basically, I was running a 1.6 so I could use the whole compare price back out, so. That's selling for about 2526, which is good. And then this evening, so we can sell for 1.7. So that's another 500 coins. So, yeah, not looking too bad. Uh, just going to keep spamming out this method because, I'll be honest with you, players are popping up uh, nice and commonly. Two players selling one as well. There you go. Some of the uh, Bariska players we picked up earlier. So we got ourselves a bunch of uh, deals. So let's go and show you what we got right now. So, well, we managed to get ourselves five players, including a Steffens for 1.2, an Egan for 1.6, a Steffens for 1.4, a Steffens for 1.6, and an Egan for 1.6. Uh, let's have a little look what we're going to go and sell them for, and then we'll do we'll do a little bit more special trading. It didn't work earlier, but uh, we'll give it another pump. So Egan, there we go. Got him at 1.6. Survey says very easy 2.6. We're about 2.8. Uh, I think we maybe even get a relatively easy 2.8. We're about 3k. Yeah, I think we get 3k out of him. Uh, and Stevens or Stephens. S E T P do 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 you. No, it's not you. You're, uh... Where are we go? Sheffield United, left wing back. Yeah, go got, got a few at 1.6 and then uh, 1 at 1.4. So, I believe we should be able to get a 1.9 for him pretty easily. Which is a 300 coin difference. Yeah, we'll go 1.9. As I say, there's no mad hurry to buy, uh, sell them. So, that's that. What we'll do right now is back under with some shadow trading. So, we managed to get our first deal here with the shadow method. And that's Kamara. Kamara, I believe, is about a going rate of about 20k. So, let's have a little look. Kamara, there we go. Special shadow. And I said, you don't have to worry about selling for the cheapest on the market. So, 17, 16. I mean, that's not looking very good for me. But what we'll do is we'll list him up for a lazy buyer of 20k. I don't think it'll be too hard. Um, but yeah, I mean, what do we get him for? 15. Cheapest on the market, 15.5. Yeah, not amazing. But I say, be quite surprised if he doesn't fluctuate up to 20k. Obviously, right now, a lot of cards are fluctuating due to uh, team of the season. So, yeah, the current filter we are running is special shadow, 15k by now. Minimum by now of 10 to 50. There we go. And I am having to a minimum bid of 4.6 to get rid of one of the um one of the UCL cards. But there you go, that's what we're running at the moment. Yeah, probably another 20 minutes and we're just having no luck. Everything's being sniped instantly. If that's a Tevitz with Shadow for 15 or a Fabian Scar, but yeah, it's a bit of a mare today. Uh in regards to shadow trading. Sorry, or shadow sniping. What we'll do is we'll I might actually go and try and scout out a player that's risen quite nicely recently and uh, go and snipe him. So yeah, I'll try and scout out a player and then we'll see you guys when we manage to find a player to try and snipe. 
So, we're trying to start the cost of the light we were yesterday uh, for 145 and then going flipping for 160, which is a 15k difference, an 8k tax, and a 7k profit. We've actually already seen one pop up for 140. Uh, we missed it, sadly. But what I'm actually using right now is a little filter where basically I'm just sitting here comparing price back out, and then when a new one pops up, that's when I go and judge. Uh, obviously, if I want to buy it, you know, I'm only going to buy it if it's 145 or below, but. Basically, this is my preferred way of sniping rather than the spamming the market sort of ones. So again, you just sit here, wait till a new one pops up. When a new one pops up, just quickly see what that guy's price is. Uh, and then obviously, if that was 145, I'd go and buy it. But it isn't 145, so we're not planning on buying it. But we'll do this and we'll show you guys any misses. And uh, obviously, we'll show you if we uh, manage to get a nice snipe. So we are going to be doing the following filter for exactly half an hour. And we'll go and show you guys all the cards we managed to win and managed to lose. But this is what we'll be running right now. We throw this filter in, basically scroll into the fifth night minute and then buying, um, so I need to increase this to 8.6. But yeah, basically using this filter, scroll into the fifth night minute. I'm going to keep pressing compare price back out until any player other than a UTL pops up and then we'll go and buy them. So of course, obviously, we just got this player right here. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I'll be honest with you, he's not going to be too good. I mean, what's his base card looking like? It might be one of these cards where the informed card is super, super rare. And it seems that I've potentially got quite lucky with that being. Yeah, it seems like one of these informs that it's actually a very rare card. So we'll go list him up for... Obviously, he's not going to be madly demanded because it's a stri well, it's a striker converted to a centre forward with a shadow on. So we'll try and go, I don't know, 1750, which is going to be obviously a, what, a 3.750k difference. Which is going to be give or take a 3k profit if we can sell him on. But there we go. There's the first card we managed to get. Uh, it's going to crack underway with when we hopefully get a, a more desirable player um, with Shadow. Uh, I don't know what it is with me missing uh, this Libertadores cards that are rating 9 rated for minimum, but uh, this is 2 for 2. I uh, managed to miss myself Bonaventuro, I believe, yesterday, uh, a centre forward from the Chilean League. And now I managed to miss myself a Polenta uh, for 12k in the that league but there we go a little bit gutting but uh yeah that's probably after about best part of two three minutes that cards pops up so still plenty of time to get good players but yeah two for two on super expensive high rated players that i've managed to miss nothing too crazy but uh there's a barrister right there at 13 should be a sell well didn't win it but uh <laughs> would have had a value of 18 so it's uh, not the end of the world but there you go there's another card that's popped up that is the best part of about Five minutes after the last one, so the market's a little bit quiet, but uh, yeah, we'll show you guys when the next card, either won or lost, comes up. So I decided to change up a little bit right there. Uh, we're now going to go and snipe any special cards with, uh, sorry, special defenders with a shadow for 15.5. So we basically increased it by 1.75, and we've now uh, basically only sniping defenders because, in the end of the day, defenders are going to be some of the most valuable players with shadow. So we've got ourselves Trustigalari right there, so let's have a little look. What, uh, what he is going for. If I'm not wrong, he should be the best part about 20k. So let's have a little look what we're looking at. Trust. Okay, this is going to be fun. Uh, come on, let's see if I can scroll down. He's there. Okay, no. All right, let's just go Argentina, send about them. Argentina, send back, minimum by now, 20k. And if by magic, we should be seeing him pop up. 20k, 19k, literally the best part of 20k. So there we go. So not too bad. We're going there for 15 to 50. Gonna go and flip him for 20k, I believe that's what a 4750 profit. So there we go, gonna make ourselves 3.75 at the end of that. So yeah, not too bad. We're gonna continue on with this. Finding it a lot, lot better than any shadow uh, is by again increasing that by now a little bit and then just sniping defenders only. And another on to outer collection, uh, Fabian Scar there for 15.5. Let's go have a little look what we can go and sell our, uh, our matey Scar for. I'd say he's gonna be the best part of um, oh, add, to, add to the collection of 20k centre back. So. Can go and find him right there. Special shadow. There we go. 10k minimum. Should be about 20k. Ooh, that's a bit of a nasty one. Uh, we're going to list him up for 19k. So that's going to be a. Well, 19k is going to be a 3.5k difference. It means a 2k, uh, 2.5k uh, profit after tax. I can't speak, but there you go. There's another one. This, uh, I say, defender method is popping up. As long as we have enough money to consistently be buying these players, which again, we could buy another seven players. Uh, before we have to worry about another sale, we should be uh, all good in the hood. And as looking up, we got ourselves a Fabian Scar right now for 12.50. And as pre well as shown earlier, he should be the best part of that 19k, which obviously is a 6.5k difference with 1k tax. Uh, well, which make mean we make about 5.7, 5.8k after uh, after tax. So I think someone else might have sold on as well. We uh, we seem to be up a little bit on the uh, coins. So anything interesting, sell on. 
No, just a bunch of the uh, yeah, but just a bunch of the Irish guys you saw uh, brought earlier, and another Ben Yedda. But get the rest of the listed up, and we'll show you guys the next deal we managed to get. And we got another one. We got ourselves uh, Hubner. Now, I'll be honest with you, Hubner is uh, not exactly looking like the most demanded of players in the world. But uh, let's have a little gander what he uh, what he might be. Yeah, I'm not uh, not too hopeful on the uh, demand for Hubner. The demand for Hubner is relatively non-existent, actually. <laughs> Born fifteen point five, probably going to go list mark for sixteen point five. So sadly, obviously, what three hundred coins profit? I won't, uh, I won't exactly be screaming and uh, sh shouting about that one. But there we go. There is another card. Obviously, you know it's what happens. We're just going to buy absolutely any special card. There's no shadow. You end up buying uh, plebs like uh, Hoopner. But there we go. Not too bad, I guess. You know, could be a loss as such. But uh, on to the next card. So we have the best part about uh, now and later, and it, uh, it is starting to get quite late. So what I'll probably do is I'll bang out one more filter. Um, what are we going to fancy? Got quite a lot of Ben Yedders. We might go back with the Baresco, because it seems like all those silvers are sold on. So we'll do a little bit of Baresco for about 20, 30 minutes, and then uh, we'll show you the results of that, and then we'll call it an episode. And we have gone on uh, an absolute, I guess, just madness. We're getting deals, to be honest. Uh, each of these should be able to sell them for 3.5, so we've got a 3k, a 3k, a 2.9k, a 2.4k, so that's obviously closing just uh, just under a k actually off tax, 2.7, 2.9, so these are very, very easy sells, nothing too crazy on it, but uh, as I say, we've managed to, I believe, sell every single one of our Baresca players on, uh, you can see right here, for 3.5k, don't believe we have, okay, we've got one, any more for any more? But no, we've only managed to not sell one, so they're very, very consistent with selling for 3.5 all day, so what we're doing right now is just sitting here at a 3k and picking up any silvers that managed to pick up, uh, pop up, sorry, because it's, uh, yeah, some very, very easy coins on them. And about five minutes later, and uh, we'll probably call it a day before I go and uh, bound all my coins in some silvers, but uh, just end off right here, 3k, 2.8k, 2.9k, nice little 2k, and 3k, so they're all going to get sold on for 3.5k, so uh, yeah, once again, Bresca filter coming up top, so once again, thank you, well, I mean, that is going to call the end of episode what are we, episode 5? So we've got episode 6, 7, so two episodes ago to try and make a million. Again, I think I've given myself another Mission Impossible, but uh, hey-ho, maybe, just maybe we can get some mad snipes in the last two episodes. But thank you very much for watching episode 5, and uh, yeah, shall see you guys tomorrow with the penultimate episode of Zero to a Million in 7 Days Sniping Edition.